Hi, I'm Tiffany, and this is Brokerl Aesthetic. On this channel, I do budget-friendly DIYs, thrift flips and hauls, trash of treasures, and more. In today's video, I'm going to upcycle some supplies that I have on hand into two different Christmas decor items. So stick around and see how I put these things together. DIY number one. For this craft, I'm going to take the Folk Art Home Decor Chalk Paint in White Adirondack and the Home Decor Wax in Antique from Folk Art. And I'm going to flip this painting. I'm also going to use the Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge as well. I'm going to turn this into a tray. So first one I want to do is I'm going to tape off the edges of the uh, picture so I can stain the frame. And I found this at a thrift store for, I don't know, it's like a quarter. And it's a, it's a Hobby Lobby uh, picture. I love the picture, but I'm not all about pink. It doesn't fit in with my stuff at all anywhere. So it's gotta go. <laughs> so Here's me struggling to put down my painter's tape and I'm just going to tape this off so I can use the antiquing wax on the frame. All right, so I don't know what happened in this footage, but uh, I've gone ahead and painted it white already and I'm going to use the uh, Waverly Chalk Paint in Elephant. And if you see here, this chalk paint, the way it dried and stuff, it's giving me some texture, which is something I really love about chalk paint. Um, you know, if you... If you do paint over in layers, you can build it up like that. So I am just dry brushing this, um, this elephant. I'm really learning. I'm trying to learn how <laughs> to do the dry brushing technique. The problem with this particular project is the brush I'm using is too soft. I wasn't using one of the chippy brushes. I was using a softer brush. So it's, it just smeared it more than, you know, I, it made the lines, marks, you know what I mean. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's, it's still looking like, um, I love the, I don't, you guys have heard me say before, I'm not really like into like yellow woods or red, orangey, you know, I don't like woods that are that tones. I like them more cool tone. So like the, I love what the antique wax does. That color is just awesome. And um, what's, I have a, I have a Minwax stain, J Jacobine. So I, I can't remember which one it is, but it's a real dark one. It's also um, got a cooler tone to it. But I love when just wood is naturally distressed and it's that like, it's a white barn wood but the wood underneath is like all gray and you know there's different shades of gray there's different like layers of white and stuff it's not wood colored anymore it's completely gone gray i love that so that's kind of what i'm trying to do here with this and as i've worked on it some you can see and i <laughs> i should have just kind of stopped here <laughs> but i was playing around you know so i think i'm adding some French gray from Apple Barrel, I think is what that might be. I don't think I actually showed the camera. So now I'm just kind of slapping it on. So I thought, well, I'm just going to go ahead and use some different shades of gray, I use white, and I just, I just slap it on. And now I'm using a baby wipe and I'm literally just smearing it about. Um, I really don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> I... I made this a few a few weeks ago actually I filmed this I made this and filmed it a few weeks ago um, and it was just kind of like a backup um, it was just like a backup project to add to some of my Christmas video challenges so I didn't know where I was gonna put this so it was perfect for today but I'm just going to go on and use the white, use the grays and just go back and forth between and my brush is still, well, <laughs> it's not technically dry anymore because it's been using, you know, it's been 
using paint or having paint in it. So, but I am not rinsing it or anything. There's no water in it. So I just go back and forth between smearing, wiping, brushing, you know, white, gray, dark gray, etc., and so on and so forth until I get um, a look that I'm, I'm pretty happy with. All right, that's painted now. I'm just taking some 60 grit sandpaper for my sander and I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a sanding. Try and um, add a little more to that distressed look. I'm trying to be careful that I don't get that pink to come up from underneath from the other paint or picture that was uh, printed down there. But I put a bit of the 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 white Adirondack down. So I'm not real concerned with that. There's a couple good three layers there. And you know, with the, um, all the different shades of gray and the white and over top. And so I did pretty good with that, I think. So the next part is I want to do the faux shiplap. I don't paint straight lines. I just, I, I, I just don't. Okay. So it's easier for me to grab a ruler and my X-Acto knife and just score the lines in. It's, you know, that thin MDF board, whatever. So it works out perfect. And I'm measuring to see where my lines need to go. Cause I just want to do like three pieces. So my vision is that this will look like three pieces of barn wood. It kind of does. <laughs> Not quite, but sort of. Okay, so I'm sanding it down to, you know, work a little bit more on that um, distress look. And when that's finished, I can go ahead and just round it out for the holiday. I've got some gorgeous silver drawer pulls that I had got to redo my kitchen that hasn't been done and I keep using them in my crafts <laughs> and I have my dishwasher safe Mod Podge to coat the whole thing and this uh, vinyl that I cut out. The S's are cut off on the very bottom because I didn't lay my piece of vinyl correctly on my mat. I was only using like a, a scrap of it and it didn't you know, I didn't have enough for the bottom of the S, but it's okay. It's a happy accident because of the way it looks. They lay right up against the edge and it almost looks intentional. So it worked out anyway. And I was pleased as punch with the result there. So <laughs> the saga of my transfer tape. I can't wait till this is gone and I can get something new. Um, I would not recommend. I can't remember the brand of it, but if I can find it, I will not link it in the, the description box because it's not that great. So <laughs> once I can finally get the transfer tape to come away from the vinyl, there we go. <laughs> and it's done. And I can seal the whole thing with the uh, dishwasher safe Mod Podge because this is going to be a functional tray. Um, I'm just making sure that my vinyl is adhered to the surface really well. And it's good. So I just need to install my hardware, which I took outside and spray painted the the screw heads and the um, and the handles black. And that was it. I just got to put them on. And that's it. This video is part of Claire's Crafty Corners Christmas Collab 2021. Uh, she put out the invitation over on her Instagram, which I will link below. And it is for makers, creators, DIYers, crafters to create a Christmas project to share uh, here on YouTube or Instagram. So that's really cool that she's including both platforms for this challenge. And I will make sure that her 
Instagram and her YouTube link are in my description box and there is a playlist this is open like all day I'm not even sure what time I'm gonna post mine <laughs> uh, I have another video coming out at 6 p.m. Eastern 5 Central tonight so uh, this will probably be before that I don't know anyway <laughs> All the links are down there, so just go check all those out and make sure to like, comment, subscribe, spread the YouTube goodness to everybody else in her playlist. This is exciting. DIY number two. So I'm going to make a couple of stockings. My mom had given me a whole bunch of stocking supplies, I guess. Uh, she... We'll grab these things when they're, you know, at the 75 to 90% clearance um, at work to do stuff with. But it, it appears she had started <laughs> to uh, do something. So I'm just going to finish it for her. And I'm using my little hot pink, my little pink hot glue gun. I will link that below. And... I'm using just other remnants um, of stockings and this fabric is something that she had cut so she'd used uh, previous stockings as templates. And I'm making these for the grandsons because they didn't have stockings. So I'm trying my hand <laughs> uh, at making some stockings. They're, <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> I've got them right sides together and I'm going to do the fluffy. Of course, you got to have the fuzzy top on the, on the stocking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, go ahead and lay it out, measure it. And I'm going to hot glue the whole thing together. Um, and just make sure I fold er the edges over that I need done and it's really very easy. Um, this would be something great like if you have fabric from a grandparent or a loved one that you you know want to share you want to keep something that's meaningful that y you want to have around forever. Um, that would be a great way to honor somebody. This fabric may have actually been uh, from something my grandpa had. I don't remember. My mom's got so much stuff, uh, you know, things like that, that we use. If you saw uh, my Keep It Simple Sunday video fabric I used, and that was uh, my grandmother's that my mom had. So we have a lot of that kind of stuff. So what she did was she had taken apart old, old dollar stockings, clearance stockings, uh, you know, for a template and just cut the fabric. And that's it. I mean, it's a smart idea. I mean, instead of buying a pattern or downloading, I mean, you could do it free, but why waste your printer ink if you don't need to? Just, and you can repurpose the back. You're just making a new front, right? So, and that's just red felt. I mean, you can actually just pick that up at the Dollar Tree also, you know, so it would be a real... It would be a really pretty cheap project, especially if you just have the fabric on hand. You just, you know, spend a buck on a stocking and take it apart to get the pattern. And then you have unlimited, <laughs> unlimited amount of stocking patterns. <laughs> anyway, I'm rambling. So, yeah, I'm just going to work on that. So I'm just going to fast forward through this and all I'm doing is just hot gluing everything. I'm folding over the little fluffy bit on the top to give that like a hem. The, I guess the way she took the other one or had taken them apart, the bottom edge of that fluffy part is already hemmed. So I'm, I use the cut end to flip over the top and, um, you know, glue that down. And I'm going to do the same thing with the felt is I'm going to give it a small, um, probably like what, a quarter inch hem there. Seam? Hem? 
<sighs> you you seamstress like gals can tell me what word I'm looking for. So I'm just letting that sit and dry for a minute and then I can assemble the rest of it together. And I just hot glue all the way around. And I don't know why I started the toe, probably because it was right in front of me. And I'm kind of just following the lines um, on the red part that were previously sewn on the uh, original stocking as my guide to where, you know, I want to be. And I'm just taking my little tag and hot gluing that inside as well. Um, trimming off the excess here. And the tag is just a piece of felt. I can't believe I missed that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, just a piece of felt that's glued into the, you know, into the seam there. And I'm just trimming off these little fuzzy bits. Um, the boys aren't going to be getting into their stockings, you know, so it's not like they're going to get any of those straggly st things, but, and I made two of them. So, and all I need to do now that it's dried up is to turn it right side out. And I did two and one of them I kind of messed up on a little bit, but I managed to fix it and it works out okay because one is just a hair smaller and one boy is just a hair smaller than the other. So it's perfect. There's the boys stockings next to Pop Pops and Nona stockings hanging up ready to get presents and the Hobby Lobby flip that was a picture and now it's a tray and I really am in love with this. And I was able to turn it into a background, so it works. <laughs> Don't forget to check out the rest of the playlist and Claire's channel. Both links are in my description box. And like, comment, subscribe to everybody in the playlist. And while you're at it, would you go ahead and hit that subscribe button up there for me and go ahead and ring the notification bell so you'll be notified when I have my thousand subscriber giveaway. I'm almost there. You would be a huge help if you could go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, y'all. Bye.